Welcome back to another episode of Did You Hear? Uh, we're here to talk about The Library Let's Loose, and this is a special edition where we're breaking down all the different fun things that you can do at the Library Let's Loose. It's our annual fundraiser by the Foundation. This episode we're talking about experiences and artists, but before we get into that, let's make sure that you know where and when The Library Let's Loose is. It'll be Saturday, September 29th from 6 to 10 p.m. at the Central Resource Library in Overland Park. Right there on 87th and Farley. You can't miss it. Can't miss it. So one of the unique things about the library Let's Loose is you walk in the door and the library is transformed. It looks totally different. There's this incredible lighting. Um, there's lots of, of uh, tables and a stage and then you see all these different areas that are set up for your enjoyment because it's a party unlike any other party I've ever been to and so we want to talk about some of the really exciting areas of the library that you can walk over to and have a great experience um, and and all the different types of things that you can take in so let's start with the Black and Beach makerspace so you wander into the library if you've never seen the makerspace before, this is a good time, but they're also going to be doing some things in there, right? They sure are, and it's a way to highlight the spaces throughout our library. Um, our Black & Beach makerspace will have interactive experiences where you can um, go and be a participant. You can also see what uh, the Black & Beach makerspace has to offer. We'll have our laser cutter in full swing, um, engraving the champagne flutes that will be in the gift bags for guests to take with them. You'll get to see the sound booth, we have a green screen room, and you'll be able to experience that entire space. And, and it's a great time that if you ever had any questions about the makerspace, um, our staff will be there to answer questions and, and really do a little show and tell and, and show off all the, the neat attributes of uh, the makerspace. I heard something about a robot. <laughs> What's going on with a robot? Yeah, so in the makerspace, uh, we'll have a painting robot, so you'll have to come and see what that's all about. That sounds awesome. And then awesome. out in the library space, we have a drawing robot that's created by Andy Wise, who actually has done a lot of work in the makerspace. And it'll be uh, an interactive way where you'll be able to work with the drawing robot and create a piece that you can take with you that evening. Wow, that is exciting. That is really exciting. And that's just one room. Uh, just one room. That's one just one small part of the Library Let's Loose event. And so in addition to that, you might head off to, I'm assuming the Carmack room is where we'll have trivia. No, not not, not this the year. We're mixing we're, we're it up. Oh, trivia. Trivia. There is trivia. There, there is, trivia. is trivia. We'll have it in our Logan room this year. Oh, okay. And it'll be, you can come and play trivia games and stay as long as you like. We have um, it hosted by Let's Get Trivial host, who's out in the community a lot, Zeb Rains. Okay. And so it'll be fun. You can come and play games and test your test your library knowledge. Oh, fantastic. That That is really great. And, and that'll be um, um, uh, over in our periodicals area, so kind of away from where the stage is, so probably uh, no... Uh, you know, conflicting noise from the, the bands if you just want to concentrate on trivia. And I think there will be food and drink back there too. Exactly. There's a, everywhere you turn around there will be food and drink. Food and drink. <laughs> so, right. I heard last year some people just kind of augured into the trivia space and okay. barely emerged because yes. it was oh. so fun. Was so oh, fun. Geez. And, and, and that's true of, uh, of our uh, local uh, performers uh, performing uh, uh, you know, uh, doing readings of their works and things like that. And so um, some people, that's their entire library Let's Loose experience. I just really love it. And the, the, the readings are, tell me where those are, Steph. Yeah, so those will be in the Carmack Room. And we're highlighting um, the Women's Voices, which will be the library's fall theme. So all of the um, literary performers that evening will be women and local local performers that will be doing all sorts of different things from uh, Shakespeare related materials to some real fun uh, comedy and it'll be oh, yeah. great to just come and yeah again you can stay as long as you want and enjoy those performers. And I think the Shakespeare person doesn't she take some um, some creative license with Shakespeare and yes. turn it into what it would what it would be like if if the characters were all women or if, uh, women, if, if the, a woman had written 
these Shakespearean type of oh, episodes. Uh, and, exactly. Uh, it's supposed nice to be twist. a very interesting twist. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Boy, and it, it's so interesting how the library lets loose can really be a choose-your-own-adventure. You walk in that door, and like you said, you could just go to the trivia room and just make that your entire night, but you could sample um, a lot of these different experiences. There's live music, too. Don't forget about that. The live music, the food and drink, uh, the makerspace, a drawing robot, a painting robot, uh, trivia and games, uh, the, the live reading performances. Uh, there's just so much uh, that it feels like when you leave, you've been to six or seven different parties, and it's it's great. Well, it's a four-hour-long uh, out evening, and so you can break it up as as you so choose. And we'll have uh, some some fun opportunities to to make donations to the library as well. So so uh, when folks come, they'll have some opportunities to buy raffle tickets that give you an opportunity to win these really amazing raffle baskets that everything from uh, Kansas City Royals have donated of tickets and ball and baseballs and uh, a whole basket full of Royals goodies and uh, we've just got a variety of, of raffle baskets that are fun and wow. um, and you can bid on experiences uh, so there are other ways to get involved and, and the art we have artists that have uh, given their art to uh, the event for us to sell and so if you do purchase art a percentage of that uh, art will come back to the foundation to support the library's collection and programming. And sticking with our fall theme, uh, Women's Voices, uh, they're all female artists. Yes they are and the, the art is beautiful. It's everything from jewelry to paintings to sculpture and so they're all in the art gallery here at the Central Resource Library and so you can see See what you can buy, and uh, whatever catches your fancy, you can sure bid on it. Mm -hmm. Well, if you have not been to the Central Resource Library since we renovated a couple years ago, you should definitely check it out, and there's no better time to do it than the library lets loose. When and where again? It's September 29th, and it's a Saturday night, so it's a fun night to play, date night. Uh, it's from 6 to 10 at the Central Resource Library. Check out our website, jocolibraryfoundation.org, and you can see all the details. For more episodes of Did You Hear, go to the Johnson County Library website, jocolibrary.org slash didyouhear.